Lewis, tonight. Tonight. Tonight, my friend, we have some fantastic guests. I've had this gentleman on before, had this guy when he was still uh, a mayor in Indiana. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg is here tonight. That's right. Very popular. Popular. He's got, he's got that infrastructure money. I'm going to try to get him to build us a bridge. Come on. And then uh, one of my favorite uh, people, Ina Garten, the Barefoot Contessa, is going to be out here for a little while. Watch her every night. Tomorrow night, Tomorrow night, we got George R.R. R. Martin. He's on about that uh, the new dragon thing he's doing. He's got a new dragon thing. <laughs> Rise of the Dragon, I think. And then also, Eddie Redmayne is going to be oh on here. God, Oscar right. winner, Eddie Redmayne. He's in. This weekend, I saw him. I do, uh, you know, uh, Evie and I support the Montclair Film Festival out oh, in Montclair, nice. New Jersey. And every year, I interview people for that because I just, I just love what it does for that community. I just love the festival and I get to meet the artists. Yeah. I, uh, I got to spend about a half an hour talking to Eddie Redmayne after that movie uh, at, the, at one of the theaters out there in Montclair. It's called The Good Nurse. He's amazing in it with Jessica wow. Chastain. He plays a guy who actually, a nurse, who the police think killed 400 people. Yeah. Have right. a good show. Have a good show. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to think about it. Try not to think about it. I also interviewed uh, 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 Brendan Fraser. Who's in the new The Whale? He's oh, amazing yeah. in that. It's great. We're part of. We're in the middle of the Renaissance, the Brendan Fraser <laughs> Renaissance right now. Is that what they call it? <laughs> and I saw the new Knives Out movie, Glass Onion, uh, the new Daniel Craig movie on Friday. Amazing. And this Friday, I am interviewing Daniel Craig at NJ Pack in support of the Montclair Film Festival. Hour and a half. Uh, you get to ask questions. I'll talk to him for an hour, half an hour audience questions. It's going to be fantastic. Awesome. You can go get the tickets uh, right now if you'd like to see it. And if you're in the New York, New Jersey area, there you go. Scan that QR code. Please join us. It's, uh, it's going to be sexy. <laughs> I think so. You want right here? Folks, if you watch this show, you know I spent a ton of time right over there. Surveying the forest of news, hewing the most topical northern white cedar stories, bracing the day's jokes over sturdy boatman's frame, and streamlining the vessel's thwarts and gunnels to create for you the white cap breaching seafarer's canoe that is my monologue. But sometimes, just, just sometimes, folks, I sputter awake on the swirling tide waters of the Jersey Shore, lash some empty two liter bottles of Mountain Dew Code Red to a discarded tumbler dryer. And then guided only by the light of a distant combination, gas station Carl's Jr., I pilot the condemned doom fairy of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, that's the only light I need to guide me. This is the only light you need. Meanwhile. In a real one-two punch of good news, bad news, the McRib is back, but... McDonald's hints it's your last chance to enjoy it. Well, let's be real. Anyone who eats the McRib knows that any McRib <laughs> could be their last. <laughs> and... Mm. And the marketing is more than a little ominous with the message continuing, order yours in the McDonald's app for delivery or pick up before you say goodbye on 11 2022 <laughs> Enjoy our famous pork sandwich as if it's your last. <laughs> it's kind of dark. It's a little, little dark there, McDonald's. Explains your recent signage. Get the two for five dollar mix and match today, for we are born astride a grave. The light gleams an instant, then it's night once more. <laughs> Meanwhile, in medical news, during this weekend's massive season finale of Doctor Who, the doctor, who had been played by Jodie Whittaker, surprised and delighted fans by regenerating as none other than former Doctor Who David Tennant. <laughs> yeah! It was the most stunning return to a TV role since zombie Dick Clark strangled Ryan Seacrest to reclaim New Year's Rockin' Eve. <laughs> Meanwhile, in a small town in Washington State, a woman escaped a bear attack by punching it in the face. That is so badass. And explains the forestry department's new signs. In case of bear, call Brenda to <laughs> some <laughs> it up. <laughs> Local police report the woman had no choice when she didn't see the bear coming and was knocked to the ground after being charged by the adult female black bear as she was letting her dog out. 
reached for comment. The dog said, I was totally gonna do something. <laughs> I was gonna jump right in there, but like, I let her take this one. Totally going after the next bear. <laughs> Meanwhile, is Benny here? Aww. Is Benny here? Benny's just here. Meanwhile, Apple's hottest new accessory is a $330 physical lock that can unlock a door with a simple tap from an iPhone or an Apple Watch. But of course, no headphone jack. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's news from the world of big pasta because Barilla is being sued over not being made in Italy. Even worse, the noodles are voiced by Chris Pratt. <laughs> Here's the scoop. Barilla is marketed as Italy's number one brand of pasta, even though it's made in Iowa and New York. That is a crushing revelation. Next, they're gonna tell me all those people at Olive Garden aren't my actual family. <laughs> I was hoping I could crash there, you know, just till I, just till I get it together. <laughs> Meanwhile... Abundanza. Meanwhile, there's news from America's funny little uncle, England, where, in order to help solve sex crimes, a semen-sniffing dog has been brought in by Cheshire police. Man, this English adaptation of Paw Patrol is gritty. 